Hello, this is Layla from Radakat. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to talk about uh, how to work with a workspace inside Azure ML SDK. If you remember from the talk that I have before, uh, inside Microsoft Azure, uh, of course, we have we can have a different subscription. In each sub uh, subscription, we can have different resource group, and each uh, resource group we can have multiple workspace that actually is a place we set up our compute uh, to do machine learning we may have different experiment using uh, notebooks or automated ml and others create pipeline and all of our data and model will be placed inside that workspace uh, before going to the azure ml stk and see that how we can uh, actually access this information from the code let's have a look inside the microsoft azure so here is my uh, azure environment so uh, i'm already have some resource groups so inside my azure i have a resource group that the name is ai fundamental under that uh, if you look at here, I have a different module that I'm creating for Azure ML. So uh, for my Azure machine learning, one of the uh, main uh, config system that actually stores my information about the workspace is actually you can see we have at the top, we have download config file. So if I download that, as you can see open, it shows the subscription ID resource group and workspace name that in these scenarios is Azure ML Layla. But uh, there is a possibility to uh, access this information from the inside SDK. Let's see that how we can do that. So I'm coming to my um, actually notebook over here. So as you can know that in the notebook, we have different cells. We able to create a new cells over here. We can move it up and down by clicking on that. Uh, we have able to hide the output if it has or the uh, kind of the show the output. So we can have that one. I just delete this one. Uh, for now, I'm going just to uh, use one of the command that I have here to check what a workspace name I have. So in this step, I'm going to get the information that I'm already get from the my subs, uh, from my uh, Azure ML config, and I attach it to my code. So I want to be the Azure ML. This is my Azure ML. This is my subscription ID, and this is the resource group. So I use the function get to allocate uh, what I have in that workspace and allocate it to a variable that I define in here as WS. And then in the next step, because I want that my config file here is actually stored back. So I'm actually, I store it back the result to uh, my WS. And so it's actually is going to uh, lock it into the file. So in the next step, first of all, to check that everything is fine, I'm going to print the name. So it shows my workspace name is Azure ML. In the next step, I'm going to actually uh, print the config that it has. So it's going to show me that is the Azure ML, the subscription ID and the resource group. So it means that I created a config file for that and it's in my code is correct. And in the detail, I want to fetch the detail about the workspace. So if I uh, use the function get fun config, it actually is going to get me all of the information that I have about the, uh, this workspace. How now in the next step, I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to create a new workspace. I call it Azure ML uh, SDK, uh, Azure ML test. And uh, for the resource group, I can use the same resource group that I have, or I can create a new one. To do that, there is a function named Azure ML create. So Azure ML create, get the name of the workspace that I put it here, the subscription ID, it gets the uh, resource group. If it's not here, so it's going to create new one. So the next line, create resource group, true. That means that if it's not available, create that. And of course I can set the location of that. 
So I'm going to run this one. So I'm creating a new resource group. So now uh, it's take a bit while to create it because it's going to create a new resource group that uh, inside that I will have my workspace. Um, so it's going to, as you can see, it's going to create that one. So as you can see, it's finished. So if I'm going to use WS name, so it's actually give me the name of the uh, research group that I have. So I'm going to use the print function to show it. Okay, so it's going to actually show that's that's Azure ML test. So that's the one that I'm created. Also, I can uh, see the other one that is I'm going to print WS get detail with function. So as you can see, it's provide the different things for me. That is Azure ML test and uh, it's provide some other information about where is located uh, the tenant and everything else. Also, you can again check uh, maybe here I can write. So WS dot resource group. So it shows that what is a resource group is that so now I can use the function to write it back the config so I can change the configuration again here using the write that config so it's going to be overwrite of the other one so now if I'm going to uh, actually in the next step if I'm going and uh, use the uh, uh, actually get the from the config if I want to actually check that one I use the code uh, the um, actually from the config one so I'm going to show that one from config and of course I'm going to print that So it's actually noise change to be different research group. So here is actually you can change your config file to be something different and your research group, you can change it. Um, if you have a one resource group, you can always create different workspace over there or you can use the same workspace as you have just uh, to start your code you can use the previous one that you have same as the one that i did and use it so it's up to you you can create a new one or you can use the one that you already have inside azure ml to start your work with that thanks so much for watching this video